Hello, welcome back to my workshop. Right, um, primer stove let me down a bit. Um, it was pumping, uh, it was uh, last cup of tea of the day, it was working okay, uh, and then suddenly it stopped working. And the reason why it stopped working is because there would have been some kind of debris getting caught in just under that jet there. So what we're going to do is we are just going to go and quickly empty the fuel out, filter the fuel and then put it back in. Um, we're also going to take this off. We'll actually take this off first I think. So we have that loosened off. So we're going to take the jet out. To take the jet out you will want a tool like this which is a weird universal joint thing. It's quite a fiddly job. Let's try and get that in. And get that over it like that. And then you can hopefully. No, that's not on. It's a very fiddly job. Once you get it loosened off, should okay. Let me just see if I can get that just around in there like that. Twist it, tighten it out, and see. There we go. Don't think. I've had this just before of this um it really is quite stiff, this one. This is the problem, so you can't even really get a pair of pliers in here. Oh, okay. Where's that hand at all? No, I'm just going to have to keep on. Oh, there we go. Loose enough now to get it with my fingers. Just.
quite fiddly to get out. There it is. It is quite dirty down there. I'm going to give that a uh, that a little bit of a clean up brush, and I will clean this up in a sec properly. Right. Next thing I'm going to do is empty out the fuel. Okay, so. We have a clean jug. I'm going to give it a swirl just so that any bits are picked up off the bottom. Oh, you know what? It's not actually a surprise it went out. I managed to run it out of fuel. <laughs> right, A, I managed to run it out of fuel, so we will fill it back up. B, Look at the state of that! Hold on. Let me just pick you up so you just... Look at the state of that! Right, so that would have been why it failed. So, what we're next going to do, for completeness, that's uh, obviously going to get... not going anywhere near the uh, stove again. I shall go and dispose of that. Right, next thing I'm going to do, that back on, but I'm just going to take this off and uh, blast some cleaner through there. Put the two bits of this burner cap down. Right, so, I need to take this off. If you have one of these, that's the correct size. It is a little bit, it's about 90mm, but it's actually more three quarters. I'm going to get a three quarter spanner on there and see if I can get that loose. So this one happens to be quite tight, I might not be able to do it. There we go. bit more forceful than I'd like for a brass thread. So now you can see what the burner looks like and all we're going to do, actually that is, let me just see if I can cast a bit better light on it. If you look down there you might be able to see a little bit, it's, it's Not too, uh, not too bad. But now we've got it off. What we're going to do? It's definitely the crud in the fuel that was the problem. Is we are going to just go and take a tissue. Put it in the bottom of there. Put that in there, and I'm just going to go and blast it through the brake cleaner. I only use this in a well-ventilated area. Because it is quite noxious, which is why I've got my massive door open. The idea is, is just that it will hopefully get any rubbish out. Right, now, right, okay, you can see just a couple of spots that might have been in the tube that would have blocked stuff up. So now we can put that back on and start putting it back together. Actually before I do that, I'm just going to start that off. Just check. No, that's okay. Clean that. Right. I'm just 
doesn't need to be outrageously tight. It does want to be nipped up though. Do. Right, next, turn our attention to this. And for this, rather than um, using the pricker, which is suitable when it's installed, I'm going to go and run through. This is a uh, see if it will fit. Do you know what? This might not fit. Let's try that from the other end. This is a torch cleaner for cleaning uh, acetylene torches. Run that through. That might work its way through. This is the smallest one. It's a very short smaller one than that. Okay, I haven't. I'm just going to get a good attack with the pricker. You know, so often, I think you could do with emptying the tanks on these things just to make sure they're clean. Right, okay. That's now nice and clear. And then, very briefly, Now put it back together. Now this bit is remarkably fiddly, done entirely by feel. That does work on some of the bigger, these things work on some of the bigger blow torches, by the way. Right, so now I've got it started off. Because I've cleaned the thread, it should go down reasonably easily. I'm putting a finger and thumb either side down there. Stiffening up at the bottom. Right, let me get on with the wrench. Remember the crazy wrench. There we go. This cap on first, this cap on second. And we're going to fill it, put in a that fit in there. Do you know what? It won't quite. Let's go to the next size down. Hold on. 
is not that one. Oh, there's that one. Right. And we're going to take a piece of tissue, fold in quarters, and you just open it up like this. You have a filter. So one that's way too big for this particular application. Now where did I put that uh, fuel? It's a bit crazy, I've forgotten where I put my, um, hold on, I should be back in a sec. Right, found the fuel. Let's give it some fuel. Now, that fuel filter paper was far too big, which is why it's dripping, but what it does show me is that the fuel coming out the can is perfectly clean. Right, let's just see how much is in there. to get some more kerosene but this will do for the moment any mess or paraffin or anything before you light the stove give it a clean up Next. Right. So fast forward until the firing.
Well, I had a bit early, but it'll be all right. It'll warm up in a minute. There we go. And that is what the flame should look like, let me just show you. There you go. A nice big blue flame, fairly quiet. So, Turns out, the most likely source of my problem is having almost no fuel and it full of bits. Well who knew? Thank you for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe, comments welcome, hit the notification bell.